getting to check in with some folks here at the home studio, including a driver. I was just joking as we as we got ready to, to switch him over so we were record. It's like, man, we've been doing this for years. Billy Pouch Jr., yeah, he's 36 now, believe it or not. Second in points this year at New Egypt. He's second uh, in the Short Track Super Series points as well. He has a couple of options this weekend. Mother Nature may determine where he ends up. Three wins this season, one in at Georgetown in the 96, also the 96 at Del Mar, also one at New Egypt. So let's head on down to New Jersey, the Garden State. Billy Pouch Jr. joins us here on, I was going to say, Doug's Dirt Diary again. How you doing, man? I know, right? It's so used to saying Doug's Dirt Diary, you're going to throw me for a loop here. I know. Every time I get the headphones on, it just it just comes back. So uh, three-win season, how are we looking? Uh, it was all right. You know, we, we, we had okay speed. We could have been better. It's You know, for years, you'd be happy with three wins, yeah. and you get to a point where you're winning more, and you're down a little bit. So I'm not kind of disappointed in it, but that's part of the sport. Um, you have your good ones, your bad ones, and we got to figure out how to be back on top next year. Where do you think you could be better as you as you ride around? My program's off just in general. Some, you know, things got kind of messed up with, you know, just the balance of cars and stuff midsummer, mm-hmm. and I definitely think that hurt us majorly. Okay. So what are we doing to fix that? Experiment here the last three weeks. So we'll see if my experimentation works. So we have a plan this weekend on some things that we would do? Yeah, we got a pretty good plan on what I want to try um, and what's going on there. I'm going to head over here and scale down a little bit and see – See if anything gets a little better. See, a lot of the guys tell me with the shocks and the coils nowadays that scaling's not as important as it once was. Are they right? No, it's not at all. If I wasn't making drastic changes, I probably wouldn't put it on the scales. Oh, okay. So if you've got a car you're somewhat happy with, uh, you do your shock dynos and everything, and you should be able to get what you want. Correct. You should be right within it. You shouldn't have to, for a while there, I think I went the longest I never did without scaling a car this summer. And I actually started, when I ran second the one week, I said, I better put this on the car. Maybe I'm missing something. Did you find anything? Uh, no. I no. just kept doing what I was doing. But uh, yeah, sometimes it's tough to teach an old dog new, tri- new okay. tricks. Weather's a little iffy, as all you guys know who are planning to race this weekend. So you have two thoughts, uh, depending on the weather. Yeah, originally we were going to Egypt, but there's also Delaware. We have two we have two cars ready, actually three cars ready. Um, so we'll see what the weather brings. Um, it's been a year, man, since September 1st. We've had one weekend, one Saturday where we were able to race, and that was the sixer. So unreal, never seen nothing like it, um, honestly. So we'll take it and um, try to finish up and end the year strong and get through the weekend, you know? month and a half probably almost feels like an off season, huh? Crazy, right? Oh, we started building a new car for next year. How bad is that? Yeah, there you go. Start getting ready at this point. So um, let's see. We were talking about uh, your son earlier and how he's doing. And by the way, in case you didn't know, he is actually the fourth generation. So Billy's grandfather actually raced. How is he doing? I got a little update from Mandy there a couple of weeks ago. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. He's come a long way this year, right? And I think he's a little, technically, you got to be eight to run a slingshot. We started him at seven. He was very, very cautious in the beginning. He's come a long way from where he started. Um, still got a long way to go, but we we picked up. I think I told me that night like 1.4 seconds from when he started. Um, now we just got to get the traffic and figuring the rest of it out. But I think next year he'll shine a lot more. How many times did all three of you race at the, on the same day? Uh, we only did that once this year. Only once. Okay. Yep, it only worked out once. How cool was that? That was an amazing experience. Probably one you'll. Watch out, we did the flag and all that other cool stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm the, probably not yeah. many people can say they've been a part of something like that either, I would think. It, exactly. It's like, I don't I don't think many people could say they would have would have done it, you know what I mean? Yeah, all right. Does he not understand, because I've talked to different people as they grow up, does he have a pretty good handle, you think, on what's, what's actually going on? He does and he doesn't. Right? Like, I think he understands it, but he doesn't. Um, mm-hmm. He's been around it. I make him wash the cars, help him okay. um, do a lot of it. So he gets that part. He gets what's going on. He just needs maybe a little bit more coaching, you know? Okay. And that will come with time, just like anything else, because he is still young, guys. Exactly. He's only eight years old. So, so what's hey, he's left? He's not even eight, so I can't complain. Oh, he's not right? eight yet. Okay. I guess I thought he had a birthday. No, he's only seven. He's going to not even run the cars, but we let him go this year. Gotcha. What's up after this for dirt, after this weekend for you? Uh, so we got three more weeks. We got. Oh, shoot, son of a gun. We got New Egypt this weekend or Del Mar, and then we got Georgetown for two days, and then Bridgeport to end the year on the 5th. And that I think will do at it. that point, I'm calling it a year because uh, Florida will catch me before I know it. So, Of course, of course it won't actually be a season. Uh, there is some indoor stuff that happens towards the end of 2023. Yeah, I think we're going to we're gonna run again with uh, Jason Simmons, um, Dave O'Connor, and Brian 
um, in the indoor deal there with the TQs. We had a lot of fun last year. Unfortunately, I only got to do Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. My back was obviously shot mm-hmm. for the first one, but I, I got hooked up with them a while ago, and we had a lot of, a lot of fun. And by the way, search for Tyler Thompson. We did a video a while back because I just happened to be in there. They had the body off one of the supers, and then the TQ was there. And you'll be surprised how similar they actually are. So look for that one and, and check that out. So um, so I guess we'll just wait for that, and hopefully everything will go smooth. How is the back? Ah, you feel it on cold days, right? Like yeah. we had this conversation about your back. Um Otherwise, it's not bad. It's going to be what it's going to be, right? Um, you know, the way race cars are nowadays, it ain't easy on your back, but you hope you can manage through it the best you can. Yeah, I, I sit there as a casual guy who just did a little racing myself, and I can only imagine for somebody who's raced 20, 30 years, isn't it kind of amazing that you all don't have bad backs? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? Like, kaboom, think about the way you sit, the way you beat yeah. your back up. I get a lot more padding that way than when I started, but it's still not perfect, you know? Yeah, and the way the cars are today with the with the short rods and the coils, it's probably a more violent ride than it's ever been. Is that true? Big time. I'm not a, yeah, whatever it is, what it is. I'm not a giant fan of the short rod stuff. I get it. Um, it's mm-hmm. got its point in time, but it also makes this stuff a lot more abrupt to drive. Gotcha. Okay. But are we getting better, or are we just maintaining right about now with the back? Um, me? My, my back's about probably as good as it's going to get, you know what I mean? Unless okay. I start... For a while there, I was doing my exercises, then I got so busy I didn't. So I think i got to get back to that. Everyone's going to make fun of me, but i got to start doing yoga again. Yoga was the best thing I ever did. You know, you're not the first person who told me that because of the balance, the holding your positions, and it's no yep. impact. It is a great way to, to, to get yourself in shape without having to do the actual lift of the weights and all that. Exactly. Now, I'm not even looking for shape. I'm just looking to get my core back so my back doesn't hurt as much. That's the key to it, you know? Yeah, putting it in a proper position and things like that. So, okay. Well, so we know what Billy's going to be doing a lot of this uh, off season. Yeah, so you know where you, I'm going with it, you know? When you guys are in the morning doing your yoga, uh, think about Billy because he's probably doing the exactly. very same thing. Exactly. Someone's got to, you got to flow. You never have no, you got to have the pride in your game, you know? That's true. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing that myself too. So, uh, I'm on Good the next you. step. You also, should. So. Help you out your back. Say hi to everybody for me, please. And I wish you all Will the best do. this weekend. It was weekend, a pleasure. Okay? I'm glad we had this conversation and uh, I always enjoy talking to you, buddy. Yeah, it was nice to catch up. But guys, remember, hit the subscribe, turn on the likes, leave a comment if you want, and turn on those notifications. Billy Pouch, going to wait to see what happens this weekend. Hopefully he'll get some shows in, and if he gets a win, we'll be back with him next week. You take care, Billy. Thank you. Thank you, Doug.